training in 90 degree temperatures has been intense. Practice in the morning definitely helps dodge the heat. Some Big 22 players hope to defend their state title, <laughs> while others are shooting for their first championship. Definitely we're going to sneak up with some people this year. It's going to be real fun. Big 22 players always give their team a shot. When they first told me I made the Big 22, I was like, that's a pretty big honor. Friday night, we find out who's for real. If you don't think you can win, hell, you've lost already. <laughs> Go ahead. Go. They're the first family of football in Lincoln. There he is, one. But with the last name comes pressure. Like a lot of Lil John's got records in Lincoln, so if you're a Lil John in Lincoln, you, I mean, you just gotta show off. Like, like I mean, if you're if you're a Lil John and you're not good, I mean, you look out of place. Good thing D Little John has some skills. Last year, he looked perfectly in place while rushing for almost 1,300 yards and 22 touchdowns, and that 22 equals a spot on our prestigious list. When they first told me I made the Big 22. I was like, man. Uh, I didn't know much about it, but then I started looking into it and I was like, dang, that's a pretty big honor. Another honor Little John really wants is a state championship. An undefeated season was ruined in the state semis last year, but the Wolves have a great shot to get at least that far again. Well, we like really took it to heart when we lost because that was just, it was crazy. But now, like, now that the season's restarting, everybody's getting back into it and we're like, yeah, we got to do it. Like, like Coach always says, we got unfinished business. When you're nicknamed All-America by your teammates, you have to live up to the hype, and Jody Fuller has. Not only the cream of the crop in the state, but considered among the top 25 best wide receivers in the country. When I get the ball, I'm just thinking touchdown when, as soon as I get it. Uh, just try to be explosive and, and beat everybody to the end zone. And Fuller's got plenty of quickness, packed in that six foot, 200 pound frame, and those talents will be with the Gamecocks next season. Because the coaching staff, uh, Spurrier Jr., he's a great receiver coach. Uh, Coach Jay Graham, he recruited me from the time I was a sophomore, and I just felt like that was a place where I can succeed. So just how will his Sun Valley Spartans succeed this season? Definitely strengths of the offense, um, quarterback, running back, receiving core, and defense, uh, we're pretty good too. So, I mean, I think we just got a solid team.